Mueller finally locked in on his final move to jail a Trump ally. Robert Mueller is in the fight to save his reputation. His investigation over the past year is what he will forever be known for. And in order to make it all worth it, he has finally locked in on his final move to jail a Trump ally. The witch hunt continues. Despite Robert Mueller's investigation into Russia collusion being nothing more than a witch hunt, it is still treading along. But most of America isn't buying it anymore, and don't trust him. If Robert Mueller wants to go down in history as more than somebody who ran a sham investigation into the ground, he must prove that the past year of his life was worth it. In order to do that he is looking to prosecute at least one person close to President Trump. It doesn't matter if that person had anything to do with Russia collusion, or if the charges have anything to do with Trump, it will make him look justified in the media. The person he has latched onto is Paul Manafort, who served as Trump's campaign chairman while he was running for president. Robert Mueller uncovered potential crimes that occurred unrelated to Trump's campaign and indicted Mueller. Now Manafort is sitting in front of a judge, who will decide if he's guilty as well as decide his fate if he is. Manafort was indicted on tax evasion and bank fraud. During the trial, both of those items were looked into, but now it appears that the one charge they are really locking in on his bank fraud. An old friend speaks out. This comes after Mueller's prosecutors questioned Rick Gates, a former political strategist, and one-time close ally and friend to Manafort. The biggest bombshell that has come out is allegations that Manafort lied about two of his properties in New York in order to obtain a $3.4 million bank loan. A mortgage assistant involved with the loan stated that Manafort claimed that one of the properties was owned by him fully, while the other was used as a second residence where his daughter and her husband lived. In reality, according to the mortgage assistant, one of the properties was still under mortgage while the other was rented out as an Airbnb, where people could rent directly from Manafort for short stays. If those claims are indeed true, and they result in Manafort being found guilty of bank fraud, it will be clear to most of America that it had nothing to do with Trump. Mueller's Real Game Plan But to the mainstream media, they will either ignore or downplay those facts in order to overplay the fact that Mueller took down somebody who was formerly on Trump's campaign. Because at the end of the day, Robert Mueller isn't looking to prove whether or not there was collusion during the 2016 election, and if Trump's campaign was involved. He is more interested in leading a personal vendetta against Donald Trump and anybody close to him. Paul Manafort would almost certainly not be in the situation he is in if he didn't work for Trump. Do you think that Robert Mueller's investigation is a witch hunt?